Greetings and welcome. I am Father Royce Thomas, a Redemptress. Today I'm coming to you from Villa Maria Chapel here at Immaculata University. Today I will reflect on the Gospel for the 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our Gospel comes from the book of Luke. Some Sadducees, those who deny that there is a resurrection, came forward. Jesus said to them, The children of this age marry and remarry, but those who are deemed worthy to attain to the coming age and to the resurrection of the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. They can no longer die, for they are like angels, and they are the children of God, because they are the ones who will rise. That the dead will rise, even Moses made known in the passage about the bush, when he called out, Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And he is not God of the dead, but of the living, for to him all are alive. The Gospel of the Lord. Yes, arise again. There's no power on earth that can keep me down. For I'll rise again. Death can keep me in the ground. It's good news for us this morning that as we travail through this life, as we go through the highs and the lows, the pain and the joys, as we live, we are living in anticipation of heaven. God is not the God of the dead, but the living. So when you and I take our last and leave this world, as we live in Christ, as we follow his word, as we live in his grace, we are going to be with God. That's good news, my friends, because many of us live as though there is no hope. Many of us ignore what is to come, and many of us feel depressed, saddened, weighed down by the pressures of this world. And here, in the gospel, we are given the assurance that those who die in Christ become like angels, those who live in the Word of God and give their time, energy, talent, and their all to God on earth will one day receive the crown and receive a place in the heavenly kingdom where there is no more pain or suffering, where there is no more weeping and stress, where there are no more bills, where there are no more fights, where there is no COVID, where there is no inflation, where there is no crime and violence, but there is God harmony, peace, celebration, fulfillment, grace. We are living and we are on a journey, not just to live and end and go to the ground, but one day the promise of Jesus is that our bodies, our souls, will go to God and be where we were created to be. I hope that news finds you in a good place. I hope that news, that word, brings excitement and anticipation and joy to your hearts. And therefore, if it does, keep in mind, the next time trouble comes your way, the next time you are given a serious diagnosis of cancer, high blood pressure, of some disease that will ultimately take your life, when your heart is failing, your lung is no longer breathing as it used to, when your bones are becoming weak and you're becoming frail, when things seem to be slipping away, remember, it is not the end. You are not going to just disappear, but you are preparing. You are making that journey to enter into paradise. Friends, how are you preparing for this great transition? How are you ensuring that your heart is ready to receive the grace of God being poured out to you when you have come to the end of your life? 
Are you helping others to recognize and to focus on our purpose, to acknowledge that we are on a journey and we are destined for glory? We are destined for grace. We are destined to be with God. Let's not waste time, my friends, for as scripture tells us, we do not know the time, the place, nor the hour. What we do know, the Son of Man will come again, and one day this world will come to nothing. But what we are assured of in this gospel this weekend is that while this world may end, heaven will forever reign and forever continue. So are we focused on our transition? Are we focused on what is to come? Are we focused and working on rising again through the power of God? Let's begin now. Let's continue now. Let's focus, my friends, on what is to come. Life with God. Eternity with God. Happiness with God. God will raise us up on the last day. He will call our souls back to him and we will find fulfillment. Get ready. Get ready for that great moment of celebration when you are welcomed into the heavenly paradise. Get ready. For we'll rise again. For there's no power on earth that can keep us down. Yes, we'll rise again. Death can keep us in the ground. May God bless you and grant you peace. And may he give you the strength and the grace to continue on your journey. So when your day of transitioning comes, you will be ready. For we will rise again in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May God bless you. Mm -hmm.